You're feeling like things aren't going your way, Cancer. With this Eight of Wands in the reverse. Like you're stuck. Like things are stagnant. Hmm. Not moving the way you want it to. Maybe you want to do some traveling and you can't travel right now due to this Mercury retrograde. Check out your Mercury retrograde reading in your playlist. Um, cancers, or maybe you're in a period of no communication with someone, since this can also speak to swift communication, text messages, emails, WhatsApp. Maybe you're in a no communication period with a Virgo at a distance, feeling stagnant with a Virgo individual, or maybe you're just, somebody, just going into a hermit mode. Maybe you're feeling depressed right now because things aren't going your way or things aren't moving the way that you want them to and you just want to figure some things out, maybe on a spiritual journey waiting to go through this period. Really just taking some time, I feel like, to focus on, on yourself. We see the Eight of Swords. Another Eight. This is you releasing yourself, Virgo from situations, thoughts, and ideas that are keeping you stuck or bound. So you being in your head about something, and that's this hermit mode. More air energy with the king of swords. But that's this hermit mode and this eight of swords. Is you taking some time out? Maybe maybe it's you that's blocking people. Cancer? Maybe you've you know, put everything on hold while you figure some things out here. Maybe you needed to get some closure on some things. Maybe you needed to forgive yourself, forgive other people here with this Eight of Swords. Maybe there's some business you need to handle here, get rid of some baggage. We see the King of Swords here. And we see you, this is you, I feel like with this Virgo energy and we being in Taurus season and this Mercury retrograde, which slows us down so we can really sit, stop and think about things before we do them. This is all about getting grounded. You taking some time out for yourself, maybe even taking a vacation here to just let some things go, to really think about some things and let some things go. Removing some of the emotions, the the anger, the the whatever it is that's keeping up any grudges and just cutting them completely out. Could be dealing with a Libra as well. We have Virgo Libra showing up here. We have Gemini with the Fool and just starting over. Some of you just need a damn break, a vacation. Um from whatever is going on here, just to either close off communication, turn off your phone. We see Scorpio death energy. Needing to take a break, just needing to refresh yourself. Remember, this death card is not just death. It's a rebirth. It's one door closing so that new doors can open for you. Almost like seasonal changes, those um, transitions, those natural cycles. This is you ch changing, going through a transition period. You're growing. This is growth. This is you feeling like things aren't moving because you hit a point where things are getting ready to start. Things are getting ready to start shaking up for you when you start to, you know, lose people and you gain other things. Right. Because when you ascend and you get up, get to the next level, you can't take everybody with you. We see this queen of wands here in the reverse. And this, this speaks to you pulling away, going into this hermit mode, and not taking any action. Again, just getting grounded. Just sitting and taking the time to think about some things. Maybe even having to do with your love life here with the Knight of Cups here in the reverse. Maybe it has to do with an apology. Maybe you owe somebody an apology, Cancer. Maybe somebody owes you an apology. We have this Queen of Wands here, maybe about a third-party situation, whether that is a a mistress, a side dude, or somebody's messy mother, brother, father, sister, whoever, third party, right? Having to think about that. Maybe your feelings have changed in a situation here. We see big Pisces energy with the hangman here in the reverse. Again, that stagnant energy, but this speaking to hanging out, being stagnant, thinking about things and changing your perspective and gaining clarity on that. So with this hermit and this hangman, this water and this earth, this mud, this is you really slowing down because you just can't run through this period of really thinking and sitting about whatever this issue is and getting over it, giving yourself some time, not taking any action, maybe just going with the flow of things as you figure out this offer, maybe even rejecting some offers or thinking about this apology that maybe isn't coming in, hasn't come in. 
maybe won't come in. Maybe that's this eight of wands here in the reverse. You're waiting for this apology to come in. Maybe even just a text message. But it ain't coming. We see this eight of swords being clarified by this knight of wands. Just somebody coming forward, that player energy. And I didn't want to say it, Cancer. I was trying to avoid it. But now we got the Knight of Wands right there. And we got the Queen of Wands right next to it in the reverse. That Queen of Wands is a mistress. That Knight of Wands for some of y'all. You know, and everybody's story is different. This is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Right? You can always get a personal reading. But this is somebody that you've gone back and forth with, that you're either in a period of no communication or you're wondering why things are stagnant and you're having to pull away from this person and assess this love offer, this apology that's not moving anywhere and gain some type of perspective on it. See if you feel the same way, sleep on it, whatever it is. Because this person's playing a little bit of game. You're dealing with somebody who's playing some games. And we got all these knights here. And I just want you to know that this Knight of Swords in the reverse, anytime I see swords in the reverse position, those are lies. Omissions. You're dealing with somebody who can't be trusted. And this was the last straw, the straw that breaks the camel's back. Things come to a head here. And you just let it go. Or maybe things already came to a head here and you're going through this period of not speaking, but you haven't emotionally moved on here. And that's why you're feeling stuck. We see your energy here with the chariot here in the reverse. So even though you want to walk away and this thing, you still haven't emotionally moved on from this individual. You were feeling that way and that's why you're needing to go into this hermit mode. This person's forced you into it. Let's see this King of Swords, this cutting off of somebody. What's up with this cutting off? Who? I feel like some of you are stuck because you're still in a relationship with this individual and you haven't decided to end it yet. And others of you are not in a relationship with this individual anymore. Maybe it's been even been a while here and you were hoping to be moved on and you haven't. So who's with this King of Swords? Who cut who off? What was the what was the reason for the cutoff with this King of Swords? Okay, we got this line out here. Sideways. The strength card here in the reverse. So, or sideways, because this is how it flew out. The strength card could be dealing with a Leo or somebody just being very cowardly, somebody being indirect. So maybe this person didn't exactly break up with you. Maybe they just kind of left you on red. Maybe they just kind of started slowly pulling away. Maybe they haven't even like necessarily even ghosted you, but they just you're just seeing them less and less. And that's because there's competition leaving you confused. It being a mess here that this person needs to clean up and fix and repair here. Oh, chaos, conflict, confusion, competition. Oh, yeah, because there's other parties involved with this person didn't want to say. For those of you that this person is Some of you, this person is going to reach out just to see if they can get you to respond. And that's this person's cowardly nature again. So just confirming that this person is indeed a coward. We got this king of wands in the reverse, moving cowardly, covering their face, tail between their legs from this mess that they created. Right? We see that here with this five of wands. 
So you're feeling like things aren't moving because this person's not communicating with you, not taking any action, not trying to see you or putting in any effort. They're very low or minimal effort at this point. This is breadcrumbing to the eighth power. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely not drawing any lines in the sand here. Can we see that? Nope. Let me move my camera. Perfect. This Nine of Pentacles, again with the Virgo energy. This being a card of freedom, being single, being happy and independent, being financially stable and abundant, successful, right? But we see in this particular deck on this particular Nine of Pentacles, somebody separating themselves, right? Laying out these pentacles, drawing a line in the sand, wishing somebody well, right? But setting some type of boundary here. Given that, like, Queen of Swords, I need to just cut this off before things get too crazy. Somebody being, putting in the ground, getting grounded, balanced, root chakra, walking with their feet in the grass and just saying, listen, something's got to give here. Somebody hasn't done that yet. That's what needs to be done. So some, so everybody can move on here. But somebody's being stubborn, set in their ways, in, the, in these cowardly ways. Taurus energy with this um, king, of Pen yeah, king of pentacles here in the reverse. Stubborn, set in their ways, them lacking um, stability. Maybe even having to do with financial issues. This person may need you for financial issues. Maybe that's even why they keep you around. Mm. Mm -mm. The two of swords. There needs to be some type of conversation about the confusion. Where you guys stand. Are you, know, are you starting something or are you not? Or are things going to continue to be the way that they have been? With it being just really nothing. A one-sided relationship. Somebody hanging on like unrequited love. The Four of Cups, because somebody's totally focused on this one individual instead of the other things that are being placed above in front of them. While this individual is clearly entertaining other parties. It's not just you. It's not just them. The world tying up these loose ends, needing to draw that line in the sands, not being able to move on. You must move on. And sometimes that's just completely cutting off the energy that you're giving to that person. You're going to stop thinking about them. If you have to buy an adult coloring book, so that when you're sitting at your house, that you're coloring instead of putting candy down your throat. Because nothing's worse than breaking up and putting on weight. Well, maybe there is. But that's bad too. You're going to have to let this person go. You're going to have to cut that off. Cut off any energy that you're giving this ind individual and move on. And that's this transition, this transformation right here. Leaving it, moving on, getting on the other side of this. And then you won't be feeling stagnant and stuck. Then you'll know exactly what the deal is. The two of cups here in the reverse. This situation, yeah, it's not lining up. It's not going to work out the way that you thought it was. Whether this is um, a friendship connection that's just fizzled out over time. Or this is a love situation where it's just things have run its course. And maybe it's time to change, yeah. Patience running out. The temperance card, Sagittarius, energy in the reverse. Patience running out. There being a lack of harmony, of balance, a lack of happiness in the situation. Things fizzling out. Maybe pride and ego is keeping people together or stuck in the situation, right? Somebody not wanting to make a decision, not wanting to make a choice here, not wanting to take any action with all these wands in the reverse, right? Others of you has to do with a marriage or a relationship. This situation has run its course. And this person has wasted a lot of somebody's time. Because they didn't want to be the bad guy and say that they weren't interested or that they were married here. And so they were just waiting for this person to just kind of disappear or to stop contacting them. 
because there wasn't going to be some type of brand new beginning. Even if they did tell you that there was going to be a divorce or something like that, if they had mentioned it, because I and I say that because I can see this hair font here, marriage card, Taurus energy. Um, because this person isn't necessarily isn't giving up the situation. They're going to stay put for whatever reason. They're going to stay put and they're just not able to juggle this situation anymore. Not at least not at this current time. And this may be a situation where this person will be back. Page the, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles from time to time. But this is a, a, a breadcrumbing, you know, when somebody goes on vacation for a week, they'll try and reach out to you here and there. But other than that, it's not going to be. A conversation it's not going to be an affair it's not going to be hanging out at the crib you're not going to be spending the night together mm -mm, none of that that is all over whatever the situation is in the background that's causing them to kind of slowly fizzle or disappear casper out of your life that's what they're invested in that's where they're going to stay they're not again they're not going to commit to this ace of pentacles ten of pentacles here in the reverse and this is you closing out the site because they're committed to the family Happy family card here with the Ten of Pentacles. Not committing to something new because they already established something. But maybe they were interested in it. And there was a lot of illusion and deception at play here with the Seven of Cups, right? This person playing a lot of games, being very elusive about what their situation was, not being very clear. Maybe they were a secret admirer for a long time. Maybe you didn't know exactly what their situation was. Maybe this moved very quickly, Cancer. But this person wasn't telling the truth about their relationship status and got you hooked in, pulled in. And they're ultimately going to stay where they lay. That's how we're going to put that. They're going to stay where they lay. So with that, with that's with their husband, wife, mother, father of their children. If it's with their mother and they're 55 years old, that's where they're going to stay here. They've been playing a lot of emotional games here with this Queen of Cups, manipulating you, playing on your emotions. We see that here with the lovers here having to do with these choices. Again, this could be a karmic relationship for some, soulmate, twin flame for others. But this having to do with choices and teaching you a lesson about these emotional manipulators, these people that are immature communicators and playing these games. And again, third party situations and not being able to balance the scales. I'm barely giving to two here. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, as well as Libra because of the balancing out the scales, right? Um, taking a risk, taking a gamble by sending, give it, send you these love messages. Yeah, starting this little side party thing. This person was taking a risk, sending these love messages. They'll come through and try to apologize to you from time to time. And then we see this nine of swords here. But it's going to take them some time. Once this fizzles out, Cancer, or it comes to a head and you separate yourself from this person, they will reach back out, but it will be a while before they do because they're going to have, they're going to have a lot of anxiety. They are going to want to know how you're doing. They're going to know what's up because, again, they're not doing this because they don't care. They're doing this because there's a lack of chemistry because, again, they're already, they're already committed somewhere else. It doesn't even matter about the chemistry. They're committed somewhere else financially spiritually and for a lot of them maybe even legally again married right it will be some time before this person reaches out to you because they will be very nervous about how it will be received again and again we see that stagnant action here with this two of wands because they know that they were selfish here in the past this nine of cups and they're definitely questioning whether whether how it would how excuse me it would be received would you would you would your guard be down enough to receive the message that they're sending you with this nine of wands or because of their selfish ways would they just be completely shut out and you would be completely closed off to receiving this offer seeing it as immature an empty offer or something maybe not worth taking or as more breadcrumbing with this page of pentacles Yeah, 
definitely worried about a lack of cooperation here with the Three of Pentacles when they reach out again. But they will reach out again. It may be years, but this person will reach out eventually. But it'll be some time because they know that they were acting a, a whole fool, doing the damn most. Cancers, drop this person's sign down below. Drop your sun, moon, and rising down below as well. Let me know where you are watching from. Hit the like button. Share this video. Subscribe. I upload almost daily on this channel. Check out your sun, moon, and rising videos for a deeper look into this and your situation, as well as this person's sun, moon, and rising to see what's going on with them. Your Mercury retrograde reading is up as well. You can check that out. That will be in your playlist. Remember to check the playlist at the top to make sure that you're seeing the most recent videos first. And Cancer Family, I'll be checking in on you soon. You have a blessed weekend. Keep it real.